That's 50 for Smith. Graham Smith has 50. Typical performance from him. He really just doesn't give in. The ball's nipped around all day, but he's managed to cope with it. Oh, big shout for that one. Not out. Well, with the angle he's bowling from, I reckon that's missing leg stump. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Well, the bottle won't like that one little bit. Oh, it's a monster. up his half century another scintillating sensational performance from Adam Gilchrist he raises his back for 50 just one run That's close. No response from the umpire. That should not be given out. It looked to me as if it was going to miss off stump anyway. That's it. They've got it. They have done it. You are looking at a championship side. What a brilliant performance this is. Happy and smiling faces out there. They do reflect a job that has been quite brilliantly done. And think how leadership has played its part too, both tactically and in terms of the... These two are building a solid partnership. McGrath is coming around the wicket. Oye is coming around the wicket. straight through the gate. Yes, and there it is. Waiting. Never mind the fielder, the bloke in row 10's got the best chance of catching that. Around the wicket. Well, it's not good news, I'm afraid. The covers are still on, and the uh, play's unlikely to start for a while. This is exactly the scene that every cricketer dreads. The rain beginning to pour down. I think this could be a longer delay than we'd first expected. Frustration all round. Thankfully, the rain's cleared up and it does look as if the dark clouds have moved away for good. So, we're ready to get back into the action and here's Richie Bennett. There should be some runs here. That brings up his half century. 50 for Alistair Cook. What a start this is to an international career. That's 100 for Vaughan. And that is a supreme performance from Michael Vaughan. A lovely, lovely hundred here today. All the characteristic strokes is driving through the covers and the pull stroke in particular to the four. Michael Vaughan, at his best, is a very, very fine player.
That has to be close. He's given him. Good decision. Very good decision. McGrath gets his fourth wicket. Oh, I think he'll have a close look at the replay when he gets back into the pavilion. The umpires call lunch and the players make their way from the field of play. We're going to take a short break too. After the break, it'll be Richie Venno and I. Welcome back. The lunch break is just coming to a close as both the batsmen and the bowlers make preparations for the afternoon session of play. Preparing for his work up in the commentary box is Richie Bennett. brings up his half century. Now that's an excellent 50 from Marcus Triscothic. He dealt so well with the ball moving around early on and you just sense he's beginning to feel a little freer. That over helped the run rate somewhat. Oh, that was expensive. Travelling strokes. These two are building a solid partnership. And facing is Ricky Ponting. Well, he wasn't there for long, and the score proves it. They will be alongside me as we reflect on the fact that England haven't beaten Australia at Lords for as long as most of us can remember. Got him, yes, he's out. Great reflexes. He made it look so easy. Loose, too loose a stroke for a good player. Oh, he'll kick himself. Lee gets his first wicket. Cook is out for a duck. That has to be close. And out. Martin gets his second wicket. He's bowled brilliantly, quite brilliantly in fairness to him. Probing and testing and challenging with every delivery. He's gone for a duck. It is a long old walk back when you've made a duck. Quack, quack. Gone bowl. Totally deceived him with that. Beat him all ends up. I mean, you don't see better than that. Lee gets his first wicket. Pretty tough for the bowlers on a pitch like this. There doesn't seem to be any margin for error. There's the umpire signal. No ball. Well, that has to be close. The third umpire's been called for. That's the red light. He's out. 